So we got a new car. It's a uh, 1996 Geo Tracker four door four by four. We got it off of a nice couple that were nomads that were staying in Belmont <clears throat> for $1,500. I mean, it's got its issues, but for $1,500, it's a really capable little car. It came with the hitch already, and it's got a base plate to tow it behind our rig. It's got a lot of room inside to store stuff. We're kind of hoping that we can fit the e-bikes in here. Oh, it's got a subwoofer. Not that it matters. Tires are fairly new, but they're road tires, so we have to get new off-road tires for it. But these are really capable little cars, and they're cheap. The seats easily fold up in the back. <clears throat> of course, all the rubbers are bad. It's uh, 96, so it's very old. But standard transmission, 4x4. It's got... Uh, couple of issues right now the um, I think the clutch cable is bad the clutch quit working where whenever he would try to actuate the clutch it would be very hard to push on um, and I talked to him before we went and looked at it and he just put on there that it needed a clutch but he also told me that he drove it home whenever the clutch went out he just uh, didn't have the clutch to go through the gears but the clutch is engaged all the time usually whenever the clutch goes out it slips, and if you can't push on the uh, if you can't push on the pedal, then a lot of the times it's uh, the cable. So he ended up stripping out the linkage under here. So there's a uh, rod that goes on on this side. You can't really see it. A uh, an arm that goes on that rod, and uh, the splines on the rod stripped out. So then he just drove it home and parked it. So that's one issue. If I can fix that, the clutch cable be about 30 bucks. And you can get the arms on eBay for another 30 bucks. And then it's also got a pretty bad oil leak under here. Down here. But uh, we've got friends that have these. And uh, generally the... Uh, timing chain cover or the timing belt cover will leak but the uh, previous owner thought that it might be the main seal but i figured whenever we go back home i'll just tear the engine apart and fix the main seal if that's the case but i can choose i can do the uh, timing belt cover here but it's got air conditioning that works and again for fifteen hundred dollars that's pretty crazy and it's got working air conditioning i drove it 45 miles back here from Belmont and it runs like a top and I put it in four-wheel drive four-wheel drive works everything's great on it so our other car we're gonna be selling that now it's just you know it's a city car it's not made for these roads so we're gonna sell that and we're gonna sell our dolly and then just flat tow this but I'll make some update videos whenever I get to working on this thing and get it all fixed up. So Jason is putting in the uh, clutch cable and we're hoping that that's the problem with the tracker. If it is, that would be just awesome. So he's been working on it for a few hours. And, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> Maybe in your mind. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's just tightening it in right now, and we should know pretty soon if uh, all is well. Let me go see if the pedal is within range of what it's supposed to be. How sweet are your sunburned? Yeah, you can push all the way to the floor, but just uh, do it whenever I ask you to, so I can watch what it's doing down here. Okay, let me get to action. 
actuator arm of the picture. There it is. There's the new cable. All right, uh, go ahead and push the pedal all the way to the floor. Let go. Push it again. Let go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, one of the bearings. Go ahead and push it again. Let go. Push it again. Let go. All right, it is actuating, but. Yeah, I did that. Push it in again. Let go. Yeah, so it is uh, sticking. Push it in again. Let go. It may still work, but uh, I'm just not knowledgeable enough to know until I start the engine and try it. But uh, it definitely needs to have new bearings on the uh, uh, actuator arm. There's a throwout bearing arm. No. No, I have to take the transmission apart for that, but it might work this way. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to start her up and see if the uh, clutch works. Can you mean move the bike? <laughs> Try number two. Well, it's in gear. That's a good sign. Where the backup camera screen is. <laughs> Maybe I see your excited face. <laughs> How's it working? Pretty good, actually. I mean, it's really sensitive right now. So I probably want to back it off. Well, I don't know if I should back it off because... Uh... Yeah. Clutch works. <laughs> ah. Yay! So... $1,600 car. <laughs> so far. Awesome. And we're still going to uh, do a service whenever we get back to Tennessee. I'm going to take the uh, back the transmission off, uh, take the uh, bell housing apart, replace the bushings, and uh, probably look at the clutch, see how bad the clutch is. But I know the bushings are going because uh, the armature wobbles whenever you get it. <laughs> but otherwise, no. We have a turnkey car with air conditioning.
conditioning and power steering. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't help that it was so windy that just dirt was piling on top of you as you were working on it. Yeah. Yeah, super jazzed about it. This is really, really cool. Just like the bikes, it's going to increase what we can go out and do. For sure. Yeah.